Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. Um, I'm just looking at uh, Psalm 136 this morning. Psalm 136 is that amazing psalm which really tells the story of uh, the children of Israel being set free from Egypt and also the wonders of God's creation. Um, but it's renowned for the fact that every verse, the second line of every verse is, for his steadfast love endures forever. For his steadfast love endures forever. For his steadfast love endures forever. When you read this psalm, don't, don't skip the line because it's repeated. For his steadfast love endures forever. He woke me up this morning, for his steadfast love endures forever. He'll be with me through the day, for his steadfast love endures forever. He was with me yesterday, when I went and played bridge, for his steadfast love endures forever. He was at church on Sunday, for his steadfast love endures forever. He was at the concert I played on Saturday, for his steadfast love endures forever. He cheered me on, even when I played a bum note. For his steadfast love endures forever. He'll be with you tomorrow. For his steadfast love endures forever. This psalm is so lovely. You can put yourself in it. You know, you can look back on your life, just like the psalmist looks back on the experiences of the children of Israel. Um, and... Uh, constantly know that his steadfast love endures forever. And thinking about creation, to him who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. You know, we can't get away from his love. His love embraces us. His love encompasses us. His love is merciful to us. His steadfast love, his constant love, his enduring love. Even, even before we ever knew him, before we ever found him, before he ever found us, his steadfast love endures forever. His love will never fail us. His steadfast love endures forever, even when things are difficult. Even when, even when we're fleeing from our enemies, as the children of Israel were fleeing from the Egyptians. His steadfast love endures forever. And the psalm begins, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let's start today thanking God for his presence with us, whatever we've been doing, wherever we've been going, whatever's been going on in our lives, that his steadfast love endures forever. If his love did not endure, this world would end. This world is sustained by his steadfast love, which endures forever. Everything he's ever done has been motivated by love. It may not look like it. It may look, you, you, your human reasoning may say, no, God, that wasn't, that wasn't love. But this psalm tells us his steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love endures forever. He gives food to all flesh, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his steadfast love endures forever. There's nothing more enduring than the love of God. It is the love of God that stops the end of the world happening, because God wants more people to come into his kingdom. It's not time yet to bring it all to an end because his steadfast love endures forever. And there are some out there who haven't yet come in.
to the kingdom, they haven't found Jesus yet for themselves. And the steadfast love of God endures for their sake forever. His love demonstrated from the foundation of the world, supremely demonstrated in Jesus. His steadfast love endures forever. Have a wonderful day, knowing that his steadfast love endures forever. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.